<laughs> All right, so we're back with Legend of Dragoon, and uh, I've done some grinding, actually. Let me... How do I... Yeah, for one, Dart now has Blazing Dynamo. I maxed out kind of all the additions almost completely. You, you, they stop at 80, but uh, I've actually <laughs> gone to 99 for quite a few. Because a, a very nice person in chat last time I streamed pointed out that the way to get the final edition is actually to just max out all the other editions. So I also did that with Rose. I got Demon's Dance. Uh, I have not tried it with Hashel. Fuck that. Oh, and also, you get SP every time you do additions. And apparently there's this un... Uh, undocumented... What's... what's un... It's programmed, but you can't see it. There's a number of SP that you're required to get before you become a Dragoon level 5. So, I did that, got Rose to Dragoon level 5. I assume if you do everybody's additions, or max out all the additions, you just automatically get Dragoon level 5. Um, that's just a guess, though, because Whip Smack and Hard Blade I've done more than maxed. Um, and I don't know if that was just... I, I don't remember when I got Demon's Dance, like how many points I had into all these. Or when I got level 5, how many points I had into these. Um. Oh wait, but I also maxed out... I maxed out Demon Dance? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I think I did more work than I had to. Yeah, Hashel I just... I don't know. I just have not put enough effort into, unfortunately. I'm currently working on Albert. He's only getting level 4. But as you can see... His two easier ones, Harpoon and Spitting Cane, are all I need left to get five. He's already at level four, so he should get um, Dragoon level five by the time I'm done. I haven't done Meru. But I feel like I should, because apparently she's really powerful. And then a Congol I'm working on, because I figured it'd be easy. Like, he's finished Inferno, almost done with Pursuit. I just want to see what his final addition is. He is almost Dragoon level 4, should be at least. But see, with him, I just don't know, like, if I do pursue, you know, I max both these out, get the third one, how close will he be to Dragoon level 5? Like, would I have to do the third one too? Will it be just like these other ones, where it's, like, bad SP gain? Same with him, like, just bad SP, except for Rod Typhoon, but I maxed it, so I wouldn't, why would I use it anymore? Um, but I was, it seems like I was kind of right in my guess that the final ones are kind of all around 500% more damage though with Roses is insane. Um, yeah, Blazing Dynamos, 100 SP, 250 damage is kind of middle of the road, but not, it's not as good damage wise as Moonstrike, but isn't as terrible SP wise. Um, so it seems like they'd be just kind of well-rounded. Miranda... It doesn't have additions, but I did get her to Dragoon level 5. It's pretty easy, actually, because her just basic attacks give her 100 SP each time. So compare that to anything Kongo can do, or most of what Albert can do. So yeah, she leveled up pretty quickly, Dragoon-wise. Um, also, because of the grinding, I can't remember what level Dart was at. Maybe 33? Something like that? Um, he's at 37 now. And as you know, this game, that takes a while. And also, 8,869 <laughs> gold. But it could be higher if I hadn't gone and bought the Legend Cask, which reduces damage due to magical attacks, which is pretty sweet. I went all the way back to Lohan to buy it. It is by far the best, one of the best items in the game. I thought it was a trinket, but apparently it's just a helmet. Um, so as of right now, I realize Spirit Ring is also really good because it can, um, uh, because it just adds SP randomly. Like you just, each turn you get 20 SP, which is awesome for leveling up, um, Dragoons. I kind of wish I had another one, though I don't want to put it on Kongol because I thought about putting it on him because he probably would gain SP a lot slower. Uh, 
but at the same time, Bandit's Ring gives him more chances to attack. So I think overall he's, you know, I wouldn't want to lower that opportunity, you know, his number of attacks just so he got 20 per turn when he could get 40 per attack, you know? So more attacks, 40, eh, made sense to me. So I kind of thought, because I'm really close to Albert's and um, Kongol's final additions, potentially uh, Albert's final Dragoon level, I figured I would uh, kind of do some grinding, just for the hell of it. Uh, because next up I want to try out an optional boss that is apparently really super tough. I think a walkthrough I looked at, I don't want to attack with Dart. I've only done like seven official, like, complete editions with Dart's new edition. It's insane. Maybe I should try it just to show it, but it's a pain. But yeah, I like that I kind of got Albert and, uh, well, Kongles are just easy, but with, <laughs> with Albert, I maxed out his, like, two hardest editions already, so it's just a matter of working my way down to the easier ones, so been going up pretty quickly. But yeah, it seems like sometimes I'd get a Dragoon level up, but the game wouldn't tell me. Like, sometimes I'll say level up, but it wouldn't mean, like, actual level level up. It'd mean Dragoon, but other times I swear people have gotten it, but the game never told me they got it. Nah, that's weird. Um... But yeah, and a uh, walkthrough I looked at for this final, or this optional boss was like, if, if you can, buy three legendary casks. <laughs> like, it's a $30,000, they're gold apparently, is what's required to potentially beat this boss. That much grinding is required to beat him, so I'm, I'm actually curious to see how that is. And I think... We heard about him. There's like a backstory we got from like one of the Wingley villages. Okay, that was an actual level up. Yeah, he's at 33. Where like this was the leader of the Wingleys. Yeah, it was like the head of the Wingleys. Um, was like this crazy guy. Ah, man, I wish I could remember the story now. Um, but I think he's the final boss if you go back to one of the, the Wingly Towers in the Tundra, which is kind of why we're grinding here. The enemies are... they take hits well enough to manage two additions per, um, but also it's near where the optional boss is. But I think that's who it is, is the leader of the ancient leader of the Wingleys. Oh yeah, I still need to try Dart's edition to show how ridiculous it looks. I mean, it's not bad, but I think it's like seven, <laughs> like, bit parts to it. Which is outrageous. So yeah, I did this for a long time, uh, just to get Rose, Miranda, I don't even know why I bother with Mirandas, though. Actually, now I can see Miranda's ultimate magic um, attack, so maybe that's why I did it. I think she's viable. Using her against the Dragoon Spirit fights, like, I started to kind of like her again. At least her magic. Alright, let's see if I can pull this off. Ah! A couple more additions in there. Also, Dart seems to kill them a lot quicker, because it's like 250% damage. Um, so... I tend to not do it as much, so I, these guys can get their things in. Also, we're full on items. Which is hilarious. Actually, where I was grinding before, um, there's a lot of uh, heals, healing fogs, breezes, one of those two. The enemies dropped a lot of them, so we're just kind of full to the brim of healing items. Which again, kind of renders Miranda useless. Just 
defend. How I can the defend ability mainly for how much it helps with grinding additions. You know, or like you don't want them to level up, and so you have like something for them to do. But also heals. I don't know. It's just a nice, nice little extra. I also really like I, this game's finally kind of warming up to me with its grinding of all things, as I think is its strongest pursuit. Because uh, uh, I, it, it actually unlocks new things. Like you actually see something new for grinding, which isn't something you get ever, I don't think, in a RPG. Usually it's just they arbitrarily get stronger, like better stats, but in this game it's something you can see and hear and do that changes. Oh yeah, Congo also has Gigantus armor, which gives him SP every time he's attacked. But I've yet to find a way to force enemies to hit Congo, so it doesn't help much. Hmm. Whoa. Still a lot of damage for Dart being like defending. It's crazy. So I think 35 is the SP to help from not having to go in the menu all the time. I look at how much SP they get. Congo gets 42 at the level he's at. I think Albert's 35. So when that goes up, I know they've leveled up. Even though wasn't one of them only at like 10 more till it was leveled up? Oh, 12 more for that one to be completely at leveled up. And then 19. Okay. Pretty close, but then also I have Harpoon to do. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. oh. Okay, got it. But yeah, nowhere does it tell you how much SP you've gained for your Dragoon level. Which, to me, is kind of silly. Like, it tells you how much you need for next level level, but nothing about how to get to the next Dragoon level. What'd I do? Oh, damn it, Albert. <laughs> that was a misclick and a half. Crap, did he do... Did I do the yin yang thing, or... Oh, fuck, I did. Can I run away as a Dragoon? No. Wait, what's your new magic? Gaspless. Strong wind single. Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> In case we never see this. Yeah, fuck him up good. What about you, Congo? Oh yeah, Meteor Strike. We saw the, uh, the Dragoon Spirit do this one. It's pretty rad. Strike. 
Whoa, only 342? Jesus. Kongle's magic really does suck. And I saw all darts. Oh, but Kongle gets another one because he's awesome. Yeah, Bandit Shoes. Kongle two turns at once. Yep, totally worth becoming a Dragoon. <laughs> Uh, what a waste of my time. That's fun though, because now we get to uh, see how long it takes for them to get their Dragoons all the way back to full. Another reason to keep grinding. Giving me stuff, I don't want it. Don't want your things and stuff. Again. I thought I think any of us could. Oh, holy crap, Albert and. Oh, right, they only each spent one turn. Congo spent two. Right, okay, so it keeps the amount you've spent, or it only takes the amount you've spent in the match. I gotcha. That's kind of neat. Almost warrants using it against normal enemies. Except for the fact that every other game mechanic kind of makes it so you wouldn't want to. <laughs> Seemed like kind of a waste, you know? Wouldn't be doing additions, gaining uh, SP, yeah, that good stuff. things the game never tells you you need to do in order to level up fully. But yeah, when that person in chat told me about it, it's like a whole new game to me. Like, wait, what do you mean I can actually control my level ups? Like, actually put effort into making my characters stronger and fully unlocked. This this far, disc four, into the game. Near the end of disc four, mind you. Near the very end of the game itself. And I'm now just learning how <laughs> level ups work and additions like truly behave. It's ridiculous. I kind of wish I had my original copy, though I don't know if it was my copy or my friend's copy I had. So I know he played the game, I just can't remember if he owned it. I think only one of us owned it though, so it might have been his copy. Anyway, I wonder if the manual actually tells you these things. It says, it says 
is back in the day when when manuals. Yeah, kind of. I was gonna say this is back in the day when manuals were still necessary and important and still had effort put into them, but PlayStation was kind of in the era where it sort of died out. PlayStation, you know, 3D games, 64. No, that's not true. Because I remember Shadows of the Empire had a bitching manual. And, uh, Indiana Jones and... Oh god, what's that game called? Emperor's Tomb. Um, that game has an amazing manual. That was PlayStation 2. So... Still, though, it's kind of the time when it started dying out. I think it didn't officially die until... Xbox generation... Xbox 360, maybe. PlayStation 3 generation. Whenever Nintendo stopped caring about manuals, <laughs> about the time the rest of the game industry stopped caring, essentially. with grinding editions though is that when you have like only 10 editions left it seems like forever like what was that two for Congo, one for albert actually i might have more there's another enemy there wasn't it i kind of stopped paying attention still no dragoon level up even for Congo, i was kind of hoping you'd get to level four sooner than later well, so much for my strategy of seeing how far. Oh, nine more. It's so much. And I still have friggin' what, 60 more harpoons to do? Yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna take a while. Five more for Kongol, so six more for him. No, sorry, nine more for him. Five more for Kongol, and then Kongol's getting his final pretty soon. Without even being level four. So yeah, I think I'd have to use his level three edition just to get Dragoon level 5, which I don't think I'm going to do, honestly, because we saw what his uh, dragon uh, spell, his ultimate Dragoon magic looks like, and also, as a Dragoon, Kongol clearly isn't a magic <laughs> caster, uh, much like non-Dragoon Kongol, so, seems, seems kind of pointless. He's a late game character, it's almost impossible to get his Dragoon levels up without putting this much effort into it. And uh, the reward for doing so just gives you stronger magic that he can't even cast very well because he's Kongol. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Well, I guess we're doing a heal, heal sesh. It's Kongol's turn again. Man, what are those bandit shoes? No, oh, don't run away, damn it. I needed that. Sweet, sweet SP. Eh? Eh. I think Kongo only needs two more. Possibly. Sort of lost count. I also stopped keeping track of Albert's too, so. Just keep going. 
Maybe I'll <clears throat> switch Kongle out for... Oh shoot, Meru or Hashel? Man, but as if... Uh, I almost completely maxed out everybody. Rose and Miranda actually didn't seem to take that long. Grinding out. But also, Shana and Rose were kind of like the two earlier characters. And so is uh, Edgar. Not Edgar, that's all fancy six. Ed. Uh, what the heck was his name? Albert. Lavitz. Um, so is Lavitz, so it's kind of weird that Albert isn't uh, living up to his potential. <laughs> But I also uh, self-proclaimed myself as uh, being terrible at his additions, so <laughs> might have a lot to do with it. Oh, level four, Bone Crush. Nice. Kongle's moving on up. So it was almost exactly at. Oh, but that wouldn't make sense though. I was gonna say that's. Oh, Bone Crush is this is final. Just kidding. I thought that meant his that was a spell for being level four. Actually, I don't think you get a spell for being level four. I'm not sure. Bone Crush is the addition. 100 SP though. Five adds as Kongol. Ah. Uh, I thought maybe because he maxed it out, he just turned into the next dragoon. I was gonna be all excited thinking that it meant it it gauges. Like, if you just go to 80 with each one, you reach level 5 eventually. But that wouldn't make sense, because he has the Gigantos armor. Anyway. I'm not making sense to anybody except for those who've played this game before. Who... As far as I can tell, there's maybe three in the world. <laughs> okay, that's not fair. More like five. There's five people who've ever played this game. Aw, oh, fuck. I hate it already. So used to doing the piddly ones. Should be spinning Kane's uh, final moments, though. Okay, let's try this again. Congo, you're never reaching your gun level 4. Ah, this rate at least. Ah, that's not too bad. Bone crush. Bone crush. It's kind of fun not having a camera on me. I can do whatever bullshit I want. What am I doing with my hands right now? You'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Am I wearing pants? Who's to say? Um, so yeah, that's Kongle. Uh, that was Bone Crush. At least I got to do it once to see what it was like. Um, five more for Spinning Cane. <laughs> it's just, I mean, just look at all these. I never even got any to level 4, for Christ's sake. I mean, same goes for Mario, I guess, too. And we saw what the purple guy's thing is, but we also saw blues. I don't know, I just... His additions really bummed me out, so... <laughs> as weird of an excuse as that is, we're going Mario. Also, are we ever gonna fucking learn who his daughter is? I swear it was Dart's mom. But I don't think we got confirmation. Either that or we did and I wasn't paying attention. 20 SP! Oh, Jesus. Also, what, it, what do you have? Physical ring. What does that do? 